If you're writing a short essay, you shouldn't need to use section headings. Instead, you'll use transitional sentences at the end of each paragraph to link your ideas. However, for longer papers, it can be helpful to include section headings. APA has five levels of headings, each with its own formatting requirements. Level 1 is the broadest heading, while Level 5 is the narrowest. In most cases, you'll only be using Level 1 headings. However, if you have a complex paper, you might have subsections within sections, and you'll need to use Levels 2 through 5 to show the reader how the paper is organized. Think of section headings as being similar to those Russian nested dolls. A Level 2 heading will never appear on its own. Instead, it's nested inside a larger Level 1 heading. Similarly, a Level 3 heading is nested inside a larger Level 2 heading. You should never have less than two of any particular level heading. Headings say to the reader, this paper is divided into multiple parts, and I'll let you know when you are moving to a new part with a section header. If you only have, for example, one Level 1 heading, your paper only has one section, so you don't need a heading at all. Finally, your introduction never needs a heading, and your conclusion will only ever have a Level 1 heading, and only then if you've used at least two Level 1 headings in the body of your essay. Now that you know when to use section headings, let's go over the formatting. Levels 1 and 2 section headings go on their own line, but do not require blank spaces separating them from the surrounding text. First, we'll create a Level 1 section heading. Place your cursor on the line immediately above the first paragraph of the new section. Click on the Center Align button. Now click on the Bold button. Type your section heading, capitalizing the first letter of every word, except for articles, coordinating conjunctions, and prepositions that are shorter than five letters. The first letter of the first word should be capitalized, even if it wouldn't be otherwise. For now, we'll type a heading in Level 1 format. Click the Bold button to deselect it. If you've already written your paragraph, do nothing. If you need to write your paragraph, hit Return and click on a line left. A Level 2 heading is formatted exactly the same way as Level 1 heading, but it's left aligned. So to turn this heading into a Level 2 heading, we simply select it and then click the Align Left button. These two levels will get you through nearly all of your normal college essays. So if you aren't writing a senior thesis and you think you need a level 3, 4, or 5 heading, you should stop for a moment and think about whether you are relying too much on headings rather than good transitional sentences. That said, let's convert our heading into a level 3 heading. Level 3 headings are still in boldface, but only the first letter of the first word is capitalized. So let's start by converting the rest of the words to lowercase. Now, place the cursor in front of the first word in the header and click the Tab button to insert a paragraph indent. Finally, place your cursor at the end of the header and add a period. Level 3 through 5 headers are placed on the first line of the paragraph, so insert two spaces after the period and start your paragraph. Level 4 headings are formatted in exactly the same way as Level 3 headings, with one addition. They are placed in italics. So to turn this heading into a Level 4 heading, select it and click on the italics button. Finally, Level 5 headings are identical to Level 4 headings with one subtraction. They are not emboldened. So to convert this heading to Level 5, select the heading and click on the bold button to deselect it. And that's it! I've included a PDF file in the supplementary materials for this tutorial, with examples of all five levels of section headings. I suggest that you save the file somewhere you can easily find it, so that you have a reference for when you need to use section headings. Thanks for joining me for this tutorial.